Hi, writers. Are you excited to write your fairy tale adaptation? I am. Um, so remember last time you drew a picture of your setting and the characters and you were really careful and you did a really detailed drawing? Well, today we're going to plan our story by sketching it across pages. So the adaptation I chose to do is I chose to do three little, I, the, my setting is the pond and my characters are going to be the three little fireflies and the big bad frog. I hope none of you chose that one. Um, make sure if you haven't chosen yet, don't choose that one, right? I want you to write your own. But as I'm sketching across pages, I already realized things are going to need to change. So I'm going to show you how I need to make changes to my story based on the setting and the characters. So in the original one, they're at mom's house, but fireflies don't really have a mom. Like they, they hatch from eggs. So I think I'm going to do that. Like, I think I'm going to just like draw, like, you know, kind of looks like just Pac-Man things. Like they hatched from eggs. And then I'm going to draw the three of them coming out um, and maybe deciding, you know, together that they need to, what they need to do. So I've got this one. I've got this one. And I've got this one. And I think that they'll talk to each other on this page to, you know, say, welcome. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to make them sisters instead of brothers. I think I'm going to make them girl fireflies instead of boy fireflies. So they're going to come out here. They're going to hatch and they're going to say, like, we need to build houses. So what am I going to have them build their houses out of? Well, there's no straw at a pond. So what could the first firefly build her house out of? That's kind of still weak. How about grass? How about grass? Okay, so it's going to be like, it's going to actually kind of look a little bit like straw. It's going to have like the house sort of like this. And here is, I'm going to make, you know, the firefly. That's going to be her house. But um, who's the big bad character going to be? It can't be a wolf. What would want to eat a firefly? Oh, yeah, a frog. That's right. I said frog. And I'm going to make it a really big frog. I'm going to make it a really big frog. Oh, wait a minute. I need to make my firefly inside the house. Silly. All right, so I'm going to have to do a big, bad frog. Frogs are definitely bigger. I think I'm going to get a girl one, too. A girl frog. But mean frog. Mean frog. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. How do you make a frog? Does that look like a frog to you? I hope so. So I think that the frog will try and come into this house. I'll have to figure out the dialogue. It's not going to huff and puff. It's not going to blow it down. That's not what frogs do. I don't know. I have to think about it. Okay. So the first one's making the house out of grass. Now I'm going to sketch. What's my second one going to make it out of? It's got to be a little bit stronger than grass, but still not strong. So it's sort of like the first story because I want the frog to be able to knock this thing down. What else is that a pond? Well, leaves. Leaves. Maybe they could make a house out of leaves. Does that look like leaves to you? I don't know. I'm doing my best. This is a quick sketch. We're not like, we're not drawing carefully right now. We're just trying to get our ideas down. Okay. And here's my firefly. inside and here's my big bad frog. Gotta make it a mean mean frog. <laughs> I'm kind of having fun with this. Alright, so now what's gonna happen next? Well of course 
The last house has to be strong. What could be strong that you could find at a pond? What about, what about rocks? But how would a firefly build a house out of rocks? I don't know, maybe the firefly could, could gather some friends and they could help her build the, the house together. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do rocks. I'm gonna do rocks and it's gonna be a very strong rock house that won't be crushed or blown down or whatever's gonna happen. All right, and here is the third firefly in the house out of rocks. And here is the big bad frog again. Mean frog. Down eyebrows always mean mean. Okay, so let's see. What could happen in the original story, the wolf tries to get in going down the chimney and then they set a fire for it. But I don't think that's gonna work this time. What could stop a frog? Ooh, what if they got a friendly spider to weave a, a web around the house so that if it tries to get in there, um, it'll just get all stuck? I like that idea. Okay, so here we're going to have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to have the spider. Gosh, how do you make a spider web? I don't know. You guys could probably do this. Whoops! Better than me. Ah, <laughs> that's what erasers are for. All right. And like, what do they do? Like, maybe like they go like this or something. Does that look like a spider web? I hope so. And I think I'm gonna draw like my frog kind of trapped underneath it. Like here's my frog. Now it's like sad because it's all stuck in the spider web. All right, so that's how you do it guys. So you're going to, today what you're going to do is take your fairy tale paper and you're gonna sketch your story across pages. And remember, when you do it, you have to change things. You have to change things to make it fit the new story. So, you know, you don't wanna use houses out of straw and sticks and bricks. You need to figure out your own things for your own special characters. I hope you have fun. I know I did. See you next time.